the S Pen and the Galaxy Tab S Ranger are ready to be, uh. We need to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite because to me today, this is still one of the best options for digital art beginners who are looking for something that is standalone and also affordable. It grates me when I see some people's answers to a beginner looking for their first tablet saying things like, Oh, you should get the iPad Pro. Like, yeah, you should if you're rolling in dough, but the reality is that most of us aren't and that's a really excessive option for a beginner. Most people don't want to spend that much up front when they're just getting started. Don't get me wrong, the iPad Pro is an amazing device. I thoroughly enjoy using it myself. Even the base iPad 9th gen with the Apple Pencil is a really good option, but you can get started for much less if you're on a tighter budget. So let's look at this then, the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite, first released in 2020, now with a revamped 2022 version. I picked up this original version a couple of months before the new one became available, but still, aside from maybe the newer processing chip and how long the newer one is gonna be getting software updates for, this wasn't too big of a deal for me. After having it for a few months, I feel pretty good about Samsung's offering here and that the iPad with Procreate isn't the only standalone option worth recommending. The first thing, obviously it's standalone, it's portable, it's fairly light and you don't need a particularly big bag to take it around with you. Being a standalone device means that you can use it for more than just drawing. Surf the web and gather reference on your device, write down and organize your ideas, take notes for school and watch tutorials, that kind of thing. It has a 10.4 inch laminated TFT LCD display. It's not going to be as bright or as color rich as an AMOLED display, but that's fine. The key here is that it's a beginner device that's good enough and that you can get relatively cheaply. There's no point in a device like this if it runs out of juice really quickly. But the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite has really great battery life. Charging could be a bit faster, but seeing as you are getting that good battery life, it's okay. Then we have the S Pen, which is included. Part of what makes this a more affordable choice in comparison to the iPad is that you don't have to spend the extra $100 on the pen. That makes a big difference when you're on a tight budget. And it's a really good pen too. Why? Because it's got Wacom technology inside of it. You could even use the Wacom One pen with this if you find that the S Pen is a bit too thin for you. I found it pretty comfortable to use though. The pressure response is great, it responds to tilt as well. So if you're using a charcoal-like brush in your app for example, it will behave similar to a charcoal pencil when you draw at an angle. And you know that pen hover thing that the new iPad Pros are finally getting? The S Pen and the Galaxy Tab S range already has that. So that's nice. Fourth point, there are some solid drawing apps available for Android. My favorite of these is Infinite Painter. If you want something that gives a similar experience to Procreate and is just as feature rich with a minimal and intuitive design, then this is worth getting. You can get Krita on here or Clip Studio Paint as well. Hook up a wireless keyboard and then you can take advantage of the keyboard shortcuts in those apps. Then there's the price. Generally, you'll find the SX Lite going for around $350, but it has been spotted in the wild for just under $300. Samsung does run discounts from time to time, so it's worth keeping an eye out for that, especially seeing as it's been out for a while already and we've got Black Friday approaching. If 10.4 inches is a bit small for you and you want something bigger, a bit brighter, with more or less the same performance, then you're going to want to keep an eye out for the Galaxy Tab S7 FE on special. You might be able to find this for just under $400 if you're lucky. Again, it's not a high-end device, but certainly good enough for beginners and gives you much more screen real estate. As a bonus point here, while the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite doesn't have the Samsung second screen feature that the newer tablets do, which lets you use it as an additional extended display for your computer, thankfully there are other ways. With an app like Easy Canvas, you can turn your S6 Lite into a drawing tablet for your computer. So you have that added versatility again, where you can take it out with you to school, to a coffee shop, but when you get back to your desk, you can hook it up to your computer and paint in Photoshop or any other desktop software. So with all this in mind, I think that the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite is still a really good option for beginners or for someone who wants a kind of digital sketchbook to carry around with them that's reliable and is affordable. If you are looking for a dedicated pen display to use specifically with your computer, then you're going to want to check out my review of the Artist 12 second gen from XP Pen Next over here. It's another budget friendly option with some improved pen sensitivity, it's still portable enough to just chuck in your laptop bag, and it even works with some Android devices. But that's all for now, thank you very much for watching until the end, I'll catch you soon for another video. Yeah.